Rain World is one of the most unforgiving games I've ever played. There is no leveling up, no upgrades, just you. It is hard, and to conquer it, you gotta be hard too. So in light of that, here's Rain World tips to not die. <laughs> Or something, yeah. Okay. Number one, always pick up rocks and other debris. They are useful as hell. Throwing them at any enemy, well, most enemies, will stun them. But it is most effective against lizards. Hitting a lizard in the head with a rock will flip it over, exposing their vulnerable bodies. And then you put a spear in its vulnerable body. Good job. Now do it five more times. <laughs> Throw boosting. Throwing any object mid-jump will make you go a little farther. That's it. It's useful. Good job. Backflips. They give you the ability to throw spears upwards and downwards. Good job. Woo. Makeshift pulls. Let's say you want to get up here, but it's too high. If you have a spear, you can put it in the wall and then use it as your own makeshift pole. Item storing. You can store almost any non-edible item in your belly for later by hoarding the eat button. So if you want to eat a rock, go ahead. Eat that rock and then pull it back out by hoarding eat again uh, for later. Okay, good. <laughs> Survival. Sometimes, well, I guess most times, it's best to avoid fights. Every single thing in this game wants you dead, and you gotta be smart and not die. It seems super simple on paper, but people do not do this. They see a cool creature and think, ooh, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna go kill it, and they get killed. Speaking of killing things, dying. You will die a lot. If you think you're good at other games, this game will kick your ass. It's unfair nature makes it easy to want to give up. But you will not give up, for we are all big, strong men here. That's right, we're all big, burly men. And if you're a woman watching this video, then, uh, hi. Uh, moving on. The rain. Holding your dedicated map button will pull up, well, your map. But in the bottom left-hand corner of your screen, there will be a symbol surrounded by white dots. These white dots indicate when the rain will be coming next. And when they're all gone, the cycle is ending. Good luck. Rolling. When you're jumping or falling from a decently high height, holding down as well as whichever direction you want to go will have you perform a roll in that direction. Hitting the jump button mid-roll will also make you pounce, giving you a nice little boost. Rolling will also negate a fall damage stun. So when you're falling from a super high height, you will usually get stunned, but rolling will make you not get stunned. Nice. Okay. Truly dying. You are only truly dead when your player is off screen. So let's say you get snatched by a lizard. If your eyes are not crossed out, then you are not dead yet, and then another creature comes out and attacks that lizard over you. In the midst of the chaos, you could be freed. Emphasis on could be freed, because that creature could attack you instead, and then boom, you're dead <laughs> either way, so I don't know, man. Popcorn plants. Popcorn plants are these long, tall, red stock things, and they're all across the world. Hitting them with a the spear will open it up, giving you an infinite food source for the rest of that cycle. Exploration. This game is massive, and even more so if you have the Downpour DLC, which I highly recommend getting, by the way, as it triples the game size and has five more campaigns. So so, like any other open world game, exploration is key. Threat themes. Threat themes exist to warn you of incoming danger. It may sound simple, but it's incredibly useful. Seeing as in this game, you could be minding your business one moment and the next you want to curl up into a ball and cry. So when you're casually exploring, minding your own business and you hear this shit, You better get ready or, or run away. I don't know, man. But if I can, it, 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 it's scary. All right, it's scary. Centipedes. This isn't really a tip, but I guess it kind of is. Anyway, so on your journeys, you will come across these centipedes, and they come in all sizes: large, medium, small, fun size. Now they're very scary, but they are edible though. So if you can kill them and eat them, they will give you a lot of food. Now one more thing: the centipedes are blind, but they have incredibly good hearing. It's actually kind of a good thing in hindsight because it makes them weak to these like cherry bomb things, like these bomb little flower things. Yeah, scavengers. All right, now these guys are incredibly complex, so this might be kind of a long tip. <laughs> Where do I begin? Okay, scavengers. They are incredibly intelligent, and they can either be your best friend or your worst foe. Upon the land of Rain World, you will find many, many outposts, also known as scav tolls. Ooh. These outposts are usually home to a great number of scavengers. If you try and run through, you will be killed on sight. <laughs> so to get past them, you have to pay a fee. But what fee? Well, good question. I'm glad you asked. Now, first off, don't worry. You don't have to sell your kidney to get through or offer a blind sacrifice. You gotta pay using these shiny rock things called pearls. And let me tell you, man, scavengers love pearls. They will do anything for it. Well, I mean, anything in reason. So, yep, yeah, pay the toll and then you're good to go. But what if you don't have any pearls near you? Well, there is an alternative way to pay as well. You can also pay with miscellaneous objects like spears, rocks, lanterns, whatever. I don't know, man. So, if you have 12 spears laying around, then there you go. Pay with that. Each toll you pay will raise your reputation with the scavengers very, very gradually. That means they'll be your friends pretty soon. Well, not really friends, but like they won't kill you in sight. That's pretty good, I guess. I don't know, man. Oh, uh, yeah. Anyway, anyway, now obviously being their friend is super fucking good. They're very, very intelligent. They're very, very strong. They can wield spears and rocks and like just like you can pretty much. But I will say fighting them is incredibly fun. Killing them is the best thing ever because while most enemies are brain dead, these guys are not making them some worthy adversaries. But let's talk benefits. If you eradicate half of their species, they will send kill squads to your location randomly. 
That's right, monkey kill squads. But if you don't do that and your reputation with them is high enough, they may escort you out of dangerous scenarios. For example, you are surrounded by predators and you are the prey. The scavengers may come to your aid and escort you to safety. But I'm just saying, man, I mean, killing them is a lot more fun, but whatever. Safety is pretty good, I guess. Realignment. Is your slug cat looking like this? will fix it by going a certain direction while holding the jump button and then your slug cat will be realigned. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty cool. All right, moving on. Tunnel boosting. Whenever you are in a tunnel and you round a corner, pressing your dedicated jump button will give you a little boost. Now, the timing can be kind of hard to get at first, but once you do, it's pretty easy. And whenever you are going down a tunnel, pressing jump will make you instantly fall down. The same goes for pipes, too. Right as you exit a pipe, pressing your jump button will give you a boost, too. Whether it's up, down, left, right, doesn't matter. Hand swapping. As we all know, you can hold two things at once. But what people don't know is that your player will throw any object in his right hand first. Right hand first, left hand second. So let's say you want to swap your spear in your left hand to your right hand. Double tap in your grab button will do that. Good job. Thumbs up. Okay, cool. Don't forget this. Also, a little honorable mention. The controls in this game are hard as hell to get used to. But don't give up. Remember, we are men, okay? And girls, you are women. Do not give up. You're like your woman. man. I mean, you're, you're, you're men, but better. All right, come on. Let's take Hollow Knight, for example. You begin the game so powerless and sad, but then you get like upgrades like double jumps or whatever, you know? Uh, but in this game, you begin the game like terrible the game. And then you progressively get better and better so yep to beat rain world just get better that's kind of it actually yep anyway this game is one of the best games i've ever played and i love it and if you're still watching as a new player well then uh i hope you enjoy it too anyways and more important news i apologize for this video being so short uh but it took me super long to make i don't know why like I, I, a week i'm pretty sure so uh subscribe for more <laughs> all right and thank you for watching so i can get those watch time hours and get monetized pretty soon and not be poor anymore i guess maybe we'll see bye bye <laughs>